So since we're talking about acting students, let's talk about acting students. In that, um, how can you, you can nurture the conditions to make the best things happen. How do you teach or what kind of training do you give young artists so that they can learn to make the right conditions yeah, in which yeah. it might happen? What's necessary? I'm referring, I always refer to, uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, Peter Brook? No, no, uh, the, the French. Uh, Michel Saint-Denis. Michel, Michel Saint-Denis, who uh, said the best way to make a, a young boy or a young girl a good actor, actor is first to make him a good human being. You have to develop his or her personality first, before anything else. And then you can teach techniques. I said previously, the language of body, the way you use your voice, the, 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 the projection, the enunciation. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's impossible to go uh, further than that, uh, except by developing the personality. So in, in developing a good human being or a good personality, you mean the heart, the mind, the body, the sexuality, the spirit, you mean? Exactly, exactly, yes. And how does a theatre school, because uh, you were the director general of the National Theatre School for six, seven years, yeah. how does a theatre school set about to enrich the personality of the artist? Uh, again, <laughs> very difficult to explain, but uh, it's, by, it, 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 it's by teaching the uh, students to get in touch with their environment not to be cut from their environment, to be part of the society and to uh, be active in that society. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, you, you can go much beyond that. Uh, and then, as I said, you teach techniques. And there you, you can ameliorate the way uh, a young actor is using his body or her body, uh, the way she or he projects the lines, etc., etc. 